need to rock Oh! Oh! Yo! Yo! Are you ready? Are you ready? I tell you what, man, that gets me going. Hey, welcome to Operation End Times. I'm your Jedi Warrior for Jesus, Bent Hillstead. Man, I think I knocked my mic over here. <laughs> All right, if you hadn't a guest, you know, back in the day, you know, when I was in high school, I was a complete metalhead, you know, uh, all the bands that were out there, you know, from Van Halen to ACDC to UFO, Rush, you name it, you know. But uh, are you ready to rock? You know, that's MSG, you know, featuring Michael Shanker, you know, who his brother Rudolph Shanker, you know, they, they teamed up and they were in the Scorpions, you know, uh, together. But uh, Michael was also in UFO and he was in his own band. And I, I've actually, I've filmed him, you know, when I used to do my TV show. And uh, I've seen him many a time live. But uh, Are You Ready to Rock is one of his old school albums. It's, it's off of the Into the Arena album. And that's kind of where we're at, you know. It's like, you know, time is of the essence and uh, things are going to start happening. And uh, we're all going to be pushed into the arena for the final uh, experience, you know, <laughs> at the end of the age and the beginning of the most glorious age, which is the kingdom of God. And you know what, my friends? You know, hey, God bless everybody out there and welcome to the channel if you're here for the first time. And I'll tell you honestly, you know, I am just beaming and happy, man, you know, because it's never been a better time. And, uh, you know, in San Jose, uh, the weather's been beautiful. It's actually getting rainy right now. It's probably going to rain tonight. But uh, yesterday I was up in San Francisco with a couple of brothers and sisters in the body, Brother Joseph, uh, Sister Kate. Uh, known as Mama Cass and her husband Michael, and we were prayer walking. Yeah, we went out to the Golden Gate, we went, went up to Coit Tower, and, uh, you know, we were just praying, praying for the city, praying for the people, praying that, uh, you know, no evil, no darkness should uh, befall anybody, you know, and let God's light and God's love just pour down and pour out. You know, the King's River, Jesus' River, you know, that's what's happening. You know, they call they call them the Ark Storms, you know. Uh, these are, that's what we just had in California, you know, uh, a week ago, which was these, these storms have so much water in it, you know, it's setting uh, uh, records, you know, and all across our country and all across the world, you know, there's record flooding from Ark Storms, you know, because that's another symptom of what's going on, you know, the tribulation. But, uh, you know, I'm going to tell you, I, I firmly believe uh, Jesus, you know, is a rock and roller. You know, I mean, he even said in the Bible, he said, I am the rock, you know, yeah. So, uh, you know, we kind of reached a point, you know, I've been on my own personal journey, but, uh, you know, God kind of had me set up this channel, Operation End Times, which was, you know, to... Uh, Get prepared to be a Jedi warrior, to be a saint, to be an elect, to be just uh, the doorman of the kingdom, you know, because I'll tell you, my friends, that's what it's all about. I've seen some brothers and sisters out there, and, uh, you know, I've had the thoughts in my head as well, believe me. And when you get those thoughts, like, who am I? And you start thinking crazy things like, I'm an angel, or I'm Jesus, or I'm, I'm uh, you know, a Palladian, or whatever crazy thought you're thinking like that. You're something other than who you actually are. You know, like, I'm bent. That's who I am. But if you get those kinds of crazy thoughts, you just got to, you know, do a little binding and loosen. You know, that's, that's one of the Jedi... Uh, uh, methodologies you got to master, you know, uh, for the end times is binding and loosing, especially with what's in your mind, you know, that when you recognize thoughts you don't want in your mind that are coming either from the dark side or being generated from your own warped out mind, you know what, you just call out to God and you say, hey man, bind up 
whatever that was, like uh, thoughts of thinking about hot, sexy women all the time, like, you know, just all the time. Let me bind that up, because I don't want to do that. Bind it up, uh, cast it out of my mind, body, and spirit, you know, loose it, throw it, cast it just as far as it can go, let it sink into the earth and disappear, never to bother me again. You know, but you keep doing that. You keep doing that. And eventually you clear your mind of all the filth and darkness. And eventually you got a clean mind, you know, and you can start filling it with the light and clean stuff. But uh, that's one of the things we learned in Operation End Times. So we've been going through this process for, man, over a year. You know, me, myself, personally, I came in to Operation End Times as a, a green recruit, a snot-nosed recruit, not knowing a whole lot. And I think I've, I've come a long ways. You know, I don't know if I'm ready to graduate, but I think we're all getting to that point, my friends, you know, where we better be ready to rock. You know, so uh, today what I kind of want to go down is just a little checklist, you know, uh, for all you Jedi warriors out there. And, uh, you know, these are happy times, man, because, you know, when I say, are you ready to rock? It's not, oh, hey, go uh, huddle in some corner shaking with fear. No, it's to walk out boldly, man, just rocking and rolling for God and letting his glory pour forth for the kingdom. Yeah, that's that's the kind of rock I'm talking about. So anyway, you know, that that's that's another thing, you know. I'm going to tell you, I got some brothers and sisters out there, and rather than say, hey, they're doing something wrong, what I'd rather just say is, hey, man, there's different ways to, uh, you know, do things, and everybody has different opinions, and, uh, you know, I've heard some people, so I'm not saying this is the, the wrong thing to do, I just will tell you it's not what I do, and I'm going to tell you what I do, so you have the benefit of knowing that, and maybe you want to do what I do, but, you know, a lot of my brothers and sisters, I've heard them say, well, they're like, live your life. Like tomorrow's the end. That Jesus is coming tomorrow. Live your life, you know, like like uh, like like it's the end of the world. And I, you know, I don't do that. You know, I live my life like today is the first day of the rest of eternity, and I'm gonna enjoy today and and uh, you know make it last as long as I can. Hopefully forever at some point in time. You know, but. Uh, you know, that's why, you know, my mentality is live large, baby. You know, let the light shine to me and through me to all those around me. You know, that's that's being ready, man. And then being a force, you know, working for the kingdom, you know. And uh, I'll tell you what, before you get all high and mighty and let your ego <laughs> inflate your big old head. Everybody does that. They're like, oh, I want to do all this glorious stuff. You know, I want to, I want to slay dragons and, uh, you know, I want to cast out demons and, uh, you know, I want to have dominion. And, uh, you know what? I'll tell you, my friends, read your Bibles because, you know, that's one of the things here at Operation End Times we've talk, discussed is as you're being set at the table of, of the kingdom, take the lowest seat, you know, and wait for God to escort you to a higher seat of honor. Because if you reach too high, get too high and mighty, God may escort you the other way down to the bottom of the table. So uh, anyway, um, you know, all the Jedi warriors out there, we're, we're asking ourselves, are we ready to rock? So uh, hopefully we learned a little bit about binding and loosing to, uh, it's kind of like uh, putting our, our minds through the spin cycle. And it, it's kind of interesting because as a, as a Jedi warrior, you know, uh, there's a lot of washing, you know, clean cleansing, you know, because we're trying to cleanse our robes, make them sparkling white, but that's also cleansing our minds. So the, the binding and the loosings, you know, getting anything that's creepy out of your head. But uh, to wash our robes, to be righteous, um, you know, we have to learn certain things. Now, if you just started your your, your journey walking with God, uh, the, one of the first things as a Jedi warrior that you fall into uh, is a, what I call a repentance cycle. And it, it's almost like a wash cycle. You know, like your washing machine has several cycles, you know, so binding and loosing is one cycle to wash your mind. And then, and then uh, the repentance cycle is to wash your heart. You know, to, uh, you know, kind of like Psalms 51, create a, a clean heart in me, oh God, you know, uh, renew a righteous spirit. And, uh, you know, to do a repentance cycle, you got to humble yourself. And, uh, you know, it, it's it's when you get, uh, go in to have a direct conversation with God. You know, some people say they go into their prayer closets, you know, you could do it wherever you want to do it. Your bedroom, you know, uh, your car, doesn't much matter, but it's just one-on-one -on -one time where you're talking to God, and I'll tell you honestly, what you got to do is be accountable. So you start kind of 
mulching back through who you are and what you've done. And any time you have diverted from the will of God and done things that he hasn't found pleasing, they're all things that you're going to have to uh, come to grips with. And I, I, the good news is God loves you so much. He'll, you know, through Jesus, you know, you're forgiven for every single thing you've ever done, you know, so, but you got to just kind of recognize what it is, you know, and, and, uh, you know, I've been through a bunch of repentance cycles, but, you know, you don't spend your whole life in a repentance cycle. So, you know, once again, there's some brothers and sisters out there where they say, hey, man, you know, pray, pray, uh, fast, pray and fast, be on your face on the ground, you know, uh, you know, beg for forgiveness, beg for forgiveness, you know, uh, well, you know what? Yeah, you need to do that, but it doesn't go on forever. It's a cycle. It's like the washing machine. And eventually, you know, you're kind of done with the repentance cycle and then that you continue your growth with God and you continue learning how to uh, be worth, a worthy citizen of the kingdom of God, a Jedi warrior, an elect, uh, you know, uh, a chosen one, a mighty one, uh, you know, whatever, uh, you know, a, a teacher, you know, there's in the kingdom, there's all sorts of titles and jobs, you know, that's, that's the, the beautiful thing about it is, you know, it, the kingdom of God is not about sitting on a cloud, uh, whistling Dixie for eternity. No, 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 no. In the kingdom of God, you know, everybody has a purpose, you know, that's how, that's how that works. So, uh, you know, that, that's one thing I just want to share is, you know, as you continue your growth in your relationship with God, he actually, you know, you got to fear God, but I, I said it in a past video, you reach a point where you're not shaking in fear of God because he's actually your friend. And you know what? It's there in the old Testament. I think it's in, uh, I'm going to kind of guess, but Genesis or Exodus, but, uh, you know, when God came down to Moses in the tabernacle and, and even to Joseph, to Joshua for the first time, the Bible clearly states that God was a friend talking to him like a buddy. And you know what? That's the, the final end destination. You know that you're, you're reaching your maturity of, of being, a, a, having your relationship with God because God, you look at him lovingly as your father and as your buddy, you know, and therefore you look forward to talking to God and you're not always on your face crying out for forgiveness and for doing horrible things. You know, sometimes you're just sharing stuff with God or asking for advice, you know, or saying, what's your will, you know? So, uh, you know, that's part of the journey of a Jedi is eventually, you know, you start off uh, bow, bow, bowed over, you know, bent over in humility. But eventually God stands you up in righteousness and you start being a son of God walking in righteousness. So the final checklist, you know, just to kind of wrap this up, you know, if you've been a Jedi, you know, We've all been going through spiritual battles, you know, once again, Satan's attacked me a bunch of times, but if you're growing, if you're learning how to talk to God, if you're lo learning how to bind and loose things, how to recognize stuff that's coming from God and stuff that's not coming from God, eventually Satan can't touch you because you got, you're got you glowing so much and you're, you're so glorified in the kingdom that the light you're shining off, you know, darkness pretty much has to leave you alone. So you're not tormented at night by uh, horrific dreams. And believe me, my friends, I've had a few, you know, I, I, had, a, I had a dream, I'll share this with you, where in the dream it was so dark and 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 uh, evil that in the dream I got to the point where I couldn't do nothing else you know, I couldn't fight I couldn't do anything and evil was clutching me from every direction and you know what I was left with no choice but to call out with all my ability you know the last breath in my lungs was Jesus help me and I tell you what my, my dream kind of ended right there but I know it ended gloriously <laughs> So anyway, uh, just a couple of uh, things to check off. Um, one, humility. You know, to be a fully functioning uh, master Jedi, uh, you must humble yourself. You must pray for humility all the time. And you must continually snuff out your ego. No ego. Snuff it out and be a willing servant and or slave to the kingdom. And be willing to do anything, you know. Not to ever say, oh, I'm above that. No. If, if Jesus says, pick up that pile of uh, doo-doo there, guess what? You're going to pick up that pile of doo-doo for the kingdom. So, uh, you know, you got to ask yourself, where am I with my humility? Because that's one of your Jedi skills for the end times is humility. It will save you in so many situations. Secondly, patience. You know, uh, in, in Revelations, it talks about the patience of the saints. And you know what? You got to pray for patience every single day. Constantly say, make me more patient, more patient. And patience means you're willing to wait on God, that you don't let 
Your own mind and will control all things. And it's not to say that you're some kind of zombie and you can't do anything because that's the, the little mystery of it all is that if you're standing up and you got your relationship going with God and walking in righteousness, if something happens right in front of you, go ahead and deal with it for a minute, you know, because your heart's in the right place, you know, you're thinking right and you're going to do the right thing, you know. But if there's any doubt whatsoever, take it to God and then wait on God. And, uh, you know, patience is being slow to anger and being understanding. So you're not bringing strife, you know, to either believers or unbelievers. You know, it's all about love. So patience, where are you with your patience? You know, and always, 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 always pray for more. And then this third thing that's very important is we're all washing our robes. So are your robes washed? And I'll tell you what, that's kind of like a continual thing, you know, uh, we screw up a little bit here and there. You go back into a repentance cycle. And you know what? The repentance cycles are not always that bad because you clear out a lot of the heavy duty uh, luggage you've been carrying around. And eventually it's just a little bit of dust or cobwebs. And if you slip a little bit, you're pretty comfortable talking to God, your father and Jesus, your friend. And you just get right back into the uh, repentance cycle and clean up the mess, you know. So are your robes washed? You know, is your heart righteous? Have you got a renewed spirit, you know? Um, you've completed your repentance cycles and you're standing, you know, you're standing on the rock, Jesus Christ, the foundation, Jesus rocks. That's right, baby. And of course, number four, if, if you got your humility and your patience and your robes are all nice and white and, and, you know, here's in the Bible, it tells us, you know, uh, I think it's in Romans eight. It's, it says God chose us from the foundations of the world, man. And, uh, you know, who God cho chooses, he's already justified us through our faith in Jesus Christ. And, uh, you know what, no matter what we do, nobody can throw a stone at us and lay it at our feet and, and make it into a stumbling block because it doesn't matter. You know, uh, God's already taken all that into consideration. So w whatever mission we're doing, whatever thing God has us doing for us, if all of a sudden darkness, uh, you know, attacks us and tries to throw a rock and make us stumble, you know, or bring us down and create doubt, you know, saying, hey, you did this or what about that? You know what? If you're a trained Jedi, you can respond to all of that because, you know, like here's a typical thing, you know, I, I always say, I'm not perfect. None of us are. Only Jesus was, you know, see how that works? So when somebody's saying, hey, man, you know, I saw you uh, smoking some pot. Hey, so what? You know what? <laughs> Let that be between me and God, you know. And that's another part of being a Jedi Knight is, you know, we're living by the two commandments. You know, love God with all our hearts, mind, and soul, and love our neighbors as, as God loves us and, and, and we love ourselves. You know, just love, 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 love. You know, the two commandments and everything else falls under that and uh, is satisfied, you know. So we're not walking around with ten commandments or a hundred commandments, you know, uh, so the final thing, you know, is uh, for us Jedis is you always have your armor on, you know, the armor of God, which is the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, you know, it's what keeps you, your, your heart uh, protected. You've got the sword, which is the word, you know, uh, you've, you're, you're girdled in the truth. And that's the other big things, my friends, is as a warrior, you stand in the truth and you stand in love. You no longer compromise. You no longer capitulate. And it's tough, my friends, because the whole world and the dark side, they constantly try and create gray areas and present opportunities for us to uh, capitulate, you know, uh, or compromise our, our values and the truth, you know. But there is only one truth, and love conquers all, my friends. And uh, finally, you got your shield of faith, unshakable faith. And the most important thing of all, you've got your boots on, man, which is your boots of love, mercy, and compassion. And you know what? Humility and patience, you know, that, that's the, like the, dry, the, the engine and the, the, the gasoline for your, your boots, or that's the, the, the shoe polish, you know, I don't know, maybe that's a bad <laughs> example, but I'm just telling you, my friends, if you want to be an effective Jedi warrior for the kingdom, you know, you're walking in love and truth, man, and you're humble and you're patient, and uh, you're, you're seeking God in all things, man. So ponder those things and say, where am I? in my development, you know, uh, and in my relationship with God. And, uh, you know, the bottom line is, you know, I, you know, there, we may all be working for slightly different things, but you know what, this is kind of like my list here is, uh, 
Let's see if I can get that into view. You know, it's to be morning stars, you know, right and left handers, you know, uh, you know, probably breaks down for different responsibilities, but it's letting your light shine to the glory of God and his kingdom will be revealed and helping with the great harvest, you know, and uh, loving the truth. <laughs> you know, and uh, if that's where you're at, then you might be ready to rock. Because, my friends, the 21st, you know, today is the 11th. We're 10 days away, my friends. All sorts of things could happen. Maybe nothing happens. But you know what? I know something's happening. You know, I don't know what the heck exactly is happening on the 21st, but I know the hand of God is at work. You know, I have no doubts. I've seen it already. So, uh, you know, I think we just got to stay tuned. All right. Hey, may God's blessings pour out to each and every one of you out there. I'm going to rock you on out of here, finishing up. Kind of doing a little drum solo. They don't even do those anymore, you know? Guy would sit there for 10 minutes pounding on the skins. All right, hey, praise God, our Savior Jesus Christ. Thank Him so much for sending us the Holy Spirit. All glory to God, all glory to His kingdom. You know, let's sing with joy. Let's all sing in harmony, man. Let's rock. All right, God bless.